Hey guys, it's Whitney here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a apartment renovation for you guys. I didn't have a whole lot of time to complete some other projects that I have been working on. I think like the next couple videos I have like a couple like bigger things in mind and by big I don't want to get you guys hopes up too high I just mean like big in terms of the builds are bigger I wouldn't necessarily classify them as super extravagant but I do think they're going to be things that you guys might like and appreciate it's just with those builds I kind of underestimated how much time it would take me to finish decorating them and I just didn't have a whole lot of time this week to dedicate to finishing it so I just needed to do something really quickly and I thought it would be a good idea to do another apartment renovation. One thing I like to do from time to time is kind of put myself in the perspective of someone completely different as me and I've also wanted to for some time do a single guy's apartment which is what this apartment is for. It actually belongs to Salem Benali or Salim Benali I think that's how you pronounce his name and he is a single guy living here in the arts quarter of San Maestrino and I was able to put myself in his shoes a little bit when doing this apartment. I feel with a lot of my builds I think it's really easy for me to kind of make sims that are already similar to me and like my personality type and like decorate their houses that way but I also think it's a really fun and cool idea to put myself in the shoes of someone like Celine even though he is like someone who I don't know I feel like if Celine was a real person we would have things in common like we're both art lovers and bookworms I guess I didn't venture out too far from my own personality but I guess the only difference is that he is a single guy and I'm not a single guy and I feel like it's really stereotypical to kind of make an apartment for a single guy that's like really messy and dirty but I kind of wanted to go like the opposite route. I've already mentioned that Salim he is a art lover and he's also a bookworm but he also has the personality trait of being lazy but in my mind I kind of interpreted it as he is someone who yes he might be lacking in ambition a little bit but I feel like Salim he's the type of sim who probably watches like a lot like if he was a real person he probably watches a lot of like like self-helpy type of content or like content about like how to I don't know get control over your life and accomplish your goals. Salim he lives in this really small apartment which I feel like it makes sense for him because I feel like he he's kind of like a struggling artist. I think he has the goal or the ambition to become a writer and he does live in the art district and I think his description said that he was born and raised in the arts quarter so he's kind of been raised by artists and he just has this desire to become a writer himself but of course he's lazy so so that to me means that maybe he like procrastinates a lot. Maybe he suffers with a lot of self-sabotage. So that's why I consider him to be a struggling artist right now. And I feel like the apartment that he had originally, I don't feel like it fit him at all, even though he does have the description of being a lazy sim. And he did have the game console, which I think I removed from this build. I didn't put a gaming console back in there because I feel like Salim, he's trying to like turn over a new leaf. Like I mentioned, he's lazy but to me that kind of means that he's like unproductive or he has a tendency to self-sabotage so maybe like in the past he would like use video games as a way to kind of like distract himself or like self-sabotage instead of like writing as he should he decided to just game but I don't know I think like I didn't need to add the gaming console back because he does have the computer and I feel like it kind of makes sense because I do this myself like I'll come to my computer to sit down and edit a video or work in a build and then like I'll just end up turning on the sims and like playing it for myself which is like kind of unproductive but I don't know that's why I now have a tendency to like just if I'm going to play the game, I'm going to play it on my laptop. But if I'm going to actually do work, then I do it on my PC. Or at least I try to keep that boundary. It doesn't always happen, but I do try to keep that boundary with myself. I feel the original apartment didn't really match like the actual building if you look at the building from the outside and also the area because I feel like the arts quarter it's a really I don't know it's better than I don't want to say it's better than the spice district but I feel like it's supposed to be like a little bit more I don't know modernized than the spice district I feel like this is an area where like maybe young adult sims come to like like come out and live with their live out their dreams so I feel like a lot of them they probably don't want to like live in the I guess the I don't know 
I don't, I don't want to say like crappier apartments that's in the spice district but I feel like a young person like Salim he kind of wants to have like a certain aesthetic or it's like kind of like he wants to give the impression that he's living a better life than he can afford right now I feel like he would probably prefer to live in a more luxurious apartment but right now this is the only thing that he can afford and I also thought it made like sense to make this apartment a studio because I don't know I feel like it, if this is such a small apartment I don't think that it needed to have like really crappy and beat up furniture I feel like maybe um like it could be like this is an apartment that was freshly renovated and like the renovation of this apartment it kind of makes up for the lack of space I feel like a lot of living places do this now today like they'll make the apartment look really nice they'll say like it's an updated apartment or it's like a modern apartment but it's like really small but I feel like they can use the excuse that it's updated and modern as a way to like mark up the price of the rent I didn't stick to like a certain budget with this apartment because when I went into build mode I guess because I wasn't play actually playing as Salim I didn't have to like use his actual household budget but I feel like maybe like if I had to like guess I would say that the total cost of some of the furniture was probably beyond his budget. I don't know if it's going to affect his rent, but I feel like Salim, he probably is a type of sim to kind of like live beyond his means in a, in a way because I feel like in his mind, he wants to be like the successful artist. He wants to live a certain lifestyle, but he hasn't necessarily earned it yet. I even kind of feel like maybe Salim, he does come from like a family that's pretty successful and now he's out on his own as a young adult. Like maybe his parents came up with some type of agreement that you can go ahead and live out the dream that you want, but you have to kind of like be able to support yourself and maybe Salim, he has like a certain amount of time to do that. Or at least if I was playing as Salim, that's kind of like the story I would kind of play with initially when I was going into this build I was thinking about keeping the build pretty minimal I feel like Salim he probably is a little bit of a minimalist or he's trying to as he's learning to like self-help tips or, and stuff like that and I feel like for him being a single guy it's not like he doesn't really need a whole lot of stuff I feel like also he probably doesn't plan on living here for a very long time like this is uh, this is an apartment where you kind of like want to grow a family like this is just an apartment where where you just live here for a certain amount of time until like you get to where you want to be and then you can like get something better also because I turned this apartment into a studio I feel like for smaller apartments you don't want to have a whole lot of furniture because I feel like with smaller apartments like the more things that you have the more cluttered that it will be or like it just gives the impression that the apartment is messy when it's not it's just that there's just too much stuff some of you might be wondering where the bid is for this apartment and I actually use some tiny living stuff for this build and I use the Murphy bed that came with tiny living it's actually a Murphy bed and a couch and it's a piece of furniture that I don't typically use because I know that there is the chance of your sim using it and it like falling down and crushing them which is something that I really don't want to happen with my sims I feel like if I was to play with Salim I'd probably end up like saving the game before he pulls it down and then like if he ends up dying I would just like quit the game at that point because I really don't like my sims to die like out of the blue like that I mean like it's okay like sometimes for like story purposes like sometimes it's just fun to just let the the game play out the way that it it wants to but I just prefer my sims to just die naturally of old age I hate like the little random kind of like deaths that like like with the vending machine like if my sim gets something from the vending machine and it gets stuck I never get them to shake it because I do not want them to like just tragically end up dying out of the blue and another thing that I wanted to kind of do with this apartment that I didn't mention yet is even though this apartment is a neat TLC apartment, like there are mouse holes, there are that little great thing that stinks. There is the electricity box and also the little water pipes in the bathroom. I was able to hide the water pipes in the bathroom like as like it being in a little closet in the bathroom but like the electricity box I wasn't able to really hide but I feel like it's okay in like this little corner where I guess you can say it's like the office area or like the study area I guess again it's like one of those things where like this apartment isn't necessarily the nicest apartment but it has been like updated and modernized and I feel like it's still like kind of a cozy 
type of apartment even though you can see like the mouse holes like it's almost like the because of the environment and like the furniture and like the wallpaper and stuff it looks it gives the impression that this apartment is really nice but like if you just take a closer look at things it's like you can tell that this apartment definitely has its flaws and I feel like it's pretty realistic for Salim who is a struggling artist it's like an apartment that he can afford at this time but it also kind of does look nice and like I mentioned I feel like Salim he is kind of like leaning more so into like the minimalist type of decor in his space but I did give him like a few plants like maybe he learned that like plants having plants in the environment it kind of like is good for you in a way and he I feel like he is trying to like do better and do things like practice self-care and stuff I feel like Salim in his story I guess he's reached this point where he's tired of feeling bad for himself and tired of like reliving the same story of being a struggling artist and he's really trying to get himself back together and also because he's lived in the arts quarter of San Marcuna his entire life I feel like he really loves and appreciates art and I can't remember if I gave him the digital tablet I think at one point I was going to give him an easel but I don't see him like being the type to like stand up and like paint at an easel but I do feel like he does appreciate and love art I feel like he is definitely someone who would collect art um but I do feel like he kind of like dabbles in it a little bit he, maybe he's not really good at it but he does love appreciate like he loves um collecting it and but I feel like his main medium is his writing and because he is a creative even though he doesn't have like a personality trait as being a loner or something like that I feel like most creative kind of like identify as being more introverted and I'm not gonna say like that's every creative type person but like I feel like me personally and I know like I've heard this like from many other creatives they kind of just identify as being more introverted so I just wanted this space to feel kind of like cozy and like like it's a space that you would want to spend a lot of your time in even though I do feel like Salim he probably does like go out maybe he goes to like different art shows and he collects art pieces and like the pieces that are on the ground in the living room maybe they're like pieces that he's collected but he doesn't have the space right now to hang them up so he kind of like just shoves them in the corner of his apartment I feel with this build I was a little bit better when it comes to the amount of packs that I used I know I have a tendency to like go way overboard with like the packs that I'm using but I think like with this build I think I mostly used a lot of eco living I think I mostly use that for like the wallpaper I use tiny living for like the living room slash bedroom furnishing um also I used dream home, home decorator mostly in the kitchen for the counters and also the appliances i'm pretty sure there were like other packs that i used in this build as well but i wasn't really intentionally trying to like do a limited pack renovation for this build i think i'll do some more of that like coming up soon well not soon because i do have like a few other builds that i've already started working on but i haven't finished yet and they're not going to be limited packs but i do plan on doing some in the near future i guess and at the beginning of this build I talked about like doing builds for sims that are kind of like different from me but like as I talked and kind of mentioned Salim's story a little bit I kind of realized that me and Salim probably have a lot more in common than I thought so there this really wasn't an apartment this really wasn't a build that kind of like goes outside of like my own personality there's still some aspects of my personality in this build as well and so in the future I do want to like venture out even more and like do something way beyond like my comfort zone I guess and I also kind of want to do another apartment renovation where I do do another uh guy apartment but that one is like messy and like grungy and just dirty and filthy like maybe it's a bunch of like bros living together or something like that but I don't know let me know what you guys want to see me build next i like I mentioned, I already have like a few different projects that I've already started. If I can like give an actual number to it, I have like three different builds that I'm currently working on and I hope to finish soon and edit them and upload them so you guys can see. But I don't know, like let me know if there's something specifically you have in mind that you want me to try and build and I'll try to get to it in the near future.
at the moment of me recording this voiceover i haven't actually played with this build so i don't really know how like the murphy bid and everything works but i think there should be enough room for your sims to pull it down and by the time i get this video uploaded i also plan on uploading it to the gallery so if you guys run into any issues with this build let me know i think i mentioned this in the last apartment renovation that i did but in order for me to upload this build to the gallery they don't actually let you upload like galleries like the ones that come with Sam Maishuno up onto the gallery so the only way you can do it is by uploading it as a room so I have to like delete like whatever room like I have to delete a wall in order to make the whole build one room so when you download it off the gallery you might be missing some walls and that's fine just turn on move objects and replace the walls and then use the eyedrop tool to re replace the wallpaper and you shouldn't run into any issues with it and before I hop off this voiceover real quick I want to talk about this bathroom because I actually really like this bathroom and for some reason it feels like a very realistic bathroom of course I use like my favorite kits which is the bathroom clutter kit and also the everyday clutter kit I had to use it in this build I think I also use like the book nook kit because I feel like it was like perfect for Salim where I mentioned he is um, a book lover so I wanted to use that kit but I was able to use some of these items that I don't typically use like the electric razor and like these like facial cream stuff I think I do use it for like some of other builds um, and also he has like the electric toothbrush which I really like and I don't know I just really liked how this build turned out and I hope you did too if you made it to this point of the video I really appreciate you for sticking around and I hope you enjoyed this build and also this video and if you did don't forget to like and share this build with anyone you think might appreciate it as well and also subscribe if you haven't done so already but again i appreciate you so much for being here and i will talk to you guys again next week